The Benelli Liancino 800 Trail is a new scrambler from Italy with 76 horsepower for under 9,000 euros. In contrast to the standard Liancino 800, there are plenty of visual treats here, including spoke rims, raised double pipe exhaust, start number plate and much more. Marcus and Dietmar checked out how the 800 Trail rides. Scramblers in this performance class for less than 9,000 euros are rare. Benelli makes it possible because the bikes are made in China. However, the development and design still come from Pesaro, where about 70 Benelli employees, among others in the Centro-style Benelli, ensure that these bikes actually look like Italy. The Liancino 800 trail is available in grey and green and as the name promises, there is again a small lion on the front mudguard. Somehow this reminds us a bit of Peugeot, but Liancino is of course Italian, by the way, means little lion, so this somewhat bizarre figure is fine. The machine seems smaller to us than it actually is. With a length of 2.20 m and a seat height of 850 mm, it has almost adventure bike level. This and the high handlebars not only allow you to sit upright, but also comfortably on the bike. The weight of 234 kg is noticeable, at least when maneuvering it is certainly not light. While driving, this impression disappears again, but more about that later. In any case, we like the look very much. The fat, gold anodized fork fits perfectly with the hunting green of our test machine. The matte black painted tubular frame is inevitably reminiscent of a Ducati monster. Add to that the half tunnels, Pirelli Scorpion Trail SCR, the extended ground clearance and the raised exhaust, Steve McQueen would have had his joy. In the promotional video for the Liancino 800 Trail, Benelli lets an enduro rider hop through the terrain. We also tried this on a small scale and it works, but due to the weight, this machine actually belongs more on the road. The large TFT display initially made us suspect that the bike is crammed with the latest technology. But puff cake, apart from ABS there is nothing on board here. No driving modes, no lean angle sensors or the like. Does that bother us? By no means. The cockpit is easy to read and the important displays such as gear and speed immediately catch the eye. Why Benelli installs four buttons for the menu control, although hardly anything can be adjusted, remains a mystery to us. The lighting comes completely in LED including the turn signals and a daytime running light switchable via separate button. It all looks very stylish and the operation opens up to the driver without looking at the manual. Too bad, the cockpit language German is missing, yet. Zwei, eins, los geht's. 100, wow. Ja. Drei, zwei, eins, ab geht das Füchslein. Und schon fahre ich 100. Mann, ist doch cool. Fun Fact, the Rev Counter suggests a limiter at 11,000 RPM, 
but de facto stalls at about 9,500 RPM. By the way, there are also hazard lights and a small onboard computer on board. Fortunately, a connection with the smartphone is not possible, otherwise we would have had to try it out. Before we start, we do a short sound check as always. The Roach Wind has an almost usual lifting pin offset and therefore sounds a bit like V2. The sound is nice and grumpy and not so quiet. We measure 96 dBA, but in the papers it stands with a stationary noise of 93 dBA, so everything roger. Already during the first meters the Leoncino loses at least 50 kilos. It is easy and easy to ride and despite the 19-inch front wheel also surprisingly maneuverable. The chassis of Marzaki cannot be adjusted except for the spring preload at the rear, but that is not necessary. The machine is well balanced and on the slightly firmer side, without annoying. You can clearly feel that you wouldn't go straight on block even when driving off-road. The tires harmonize very well with the bike, even on the road. The engine has 76 horsepower and 67 newton meters at 6,500 and that's exactly how it feels. He always goes well forward without overtaxing his driver. You never have the impression of being thrown off the bike, but it never gets boring. With a scrambler you don't want to go into the curve at 180 km per hour anyway, so everything fits. The motor turns predictably upwards and is quite willing to rev up to the limiter. We didn't like the brakes so much. The brake lever is adjustable in range, ditto clutch lever, but we still did not manage to get enough leverage force on the brake lever. This means that, despite the actually well-equipped front brake, you need an unnecessary amount of hand power if you want to bring the machine to a stop faster. Benelli could still rework a little here, because the 320 double disc and the radially installed four-piston brake calipers should actually be able to generate more braking power. Maybe install radial pump and steel flex? Good because inconspicuous is the transmission. The six gears are well-tuned, there are no too long or short ratios and the hand force of the clutch is pleasantly low. This would mean that you would not get hand pain even in city traffic in stop-and-go situations. The Benelli Leoncino 800 Trail is a real fun bike. It not only looks chic, but the driving also brings you a real mood. There are hardly any points of criticism except for the brake, the machine looks valuable and well-processed. The driving performance does not overwhelm anyone, but you can also accelerate and have fun if necessary. The price of this machine is excellent. You get a lot of motorcycle for little money. The rather clear technical equipment of the Benelli fits well to a scrambler. If you like this type of bike, you should visit a Benelli dealer as soon as possible and take a test ride. Bring real mood, you'll see.